Good morning, everyone. How are you doing today? Well, um, two days ago, I got a package. It came a little bit sooner. It's a painting um, that we're going around. Time with Tasha sent it to me. I get to add my painting onto it, and then I have to send it to the person's address that's on the back of it. Um, so I'll be putting my name back here on the back, underneath number four position. And then sending it to Jared. And um, so I'm going to make a video of me painting it. I don't want to take off her beautiful girl on there because got to have that left on there. But she does need some arms. And she needs to be smelling a daffodil. Yeah. Anyway. So here I am. Um penciling in the rough area where I want the arms to go and where I want the daffodil and um, the stem of the daffodil, etc. I don't do the whole area. I just get a basic idea um, about what I want to do with it. I'm just kind of, you know, thinking about where the arm's going to be and just putting a little bit of uh, markings there so, for, to guide me, you know, to keep track of what I've had in mind. I wanted her to have arms because I want her to hold the daffodil. Now, I've matched the pink color up to her dress pretty good, I think, um, to give a little bit of sleeve on the dress for her arms. Um, and uh, so, anyway, I um, wanted her to be smelling or looking at the daffodil. I didn't want to paint over top of the most of the, the drawing. I think that, you know, prettiest part of the drawing is the face, you know, from Tasha. She did such a wonderful job. I didn't even cover up Tasha's signature. It's still on there. Um, I just, you know, wanted her to have arms so she could hold the daffodil. And one arm would look strange. So, anyway. Now, I think I did put a little bit of shadow in behind the area. Uh, once I added in the arm, it kind of blended into the background, and she just needed a little bit of shadow. Um, just because she needed shadow. Because I, you know, might not need a shadow had I not added the arm, but she needed a shadow. Um, now I'm starting on the painting the uh, daffodil, and I'm getting the uh, bulb of the plant first, the tulip, the trumpet part where, you know, where it, that comes up, and then I'll start putting in some of the other parts um, I'm painting on a textured background um, it's textured from previous artists um, just adding to what they've done so um, I've always liked to outline so I do outline it off camera at the end because I look at it after I stop video and I decide it needs this little, tiny little bit more touch um, but here I am getting the petals on the daffodil, and I did double, speed up this film. I sped it up, you know, double time. I finally figured out how to do that in Movie Maker. Yay! And uh, so I have her smelling the first flowers that I see normally in the springtime, except for crocuses. I guess crocuses come up a little bit sooner in the year than uh, daffodils, but daffodils are right there behind them. You know, really close together. Um, the hardiest flowers, I believe, in the time when it can be cold are ones that are purple or yellow. And when you think about that, purple or yellow are two contrasting colors, um, opposites of themselves. And yet those colors are the colors that are the strongest flowers. You'll see yellow of any kind of thing first thing in the year before you will you know, yellow and purple are the first colors you see in flowers in the spring of the year. Um, so, anyway, I'm slowly getting the, the flower more detailed there. And I'm putting in the background shading, giving it some shading, a little bit of blue shading. And I think right here on the end, I wanted to give it a special touch to the uh, sky. I didn't really want to change the color of the sky. I just wanted to make it sparkle. So I'm painting the same color and adding in, you know, putting some sparkles on it. Well, um, that's the finished uh, drawing, the painting of the um, art project that has been going around. 
and of this that Jared started. And I'm sending it back to Jared now. There um there's some more spots down there, so I don't know if he's gonna send it to anybody else or not, but my instructions were to send it back to Jared. So I'm going to do that. And I'm gonna say bye now, so bye now.